Voila. of short videos that's basically promoting the movement of getting back into nature. But let's touch on something in a more wider scope. Individuals, every individual is not ready. Every individual wants and they would like to achieve optimal health, especially if they find themselves in a condition. However, individual is not prepared to go through the steps required. These are things that one finds out based off of experience and observation. We all want a particular level of health, but to what extent and are we willing to experience in order to achieve such goals? If you remember one of the videos I did, I have this in my hand, and I call it the Health Changer. Guys, every doctor, no matter where they are, will make it clear that extra weight will compromise a person's condition. But what do you say to a patient who has no extra weight? If you're slim and you're sick, what do you do then? What I'm saying is everything is in perspective with the situation. Everything is based on an individual case-by-case -case scenario. This is cell on a cellular level in terms of carrying around extra pounds and what it's doing and interfering. But I like to tell you this. Yes, it's true about this, but also, most significantly, because you can't see it in your mind, your mindset, the stress is chiefly and significantly involved. Why do I say that? Well, the reason why I say that is because you could tell that there's a hormonal balance going on. You could tell a lot of things by observation and how the body and how the person's health, it either diminishes gradually or it diminishes abruptly or it diminishes in such a way that it's unrecognizable because it's over years, it's over time, time that moves on. Most often we notice the conditions that are brought, that are sudden, that's right there, that's traumatic. Because it happened there, now, now, now. However, there are other factors that creates a diminishing capacity for the body, for the cells, for the mind, not to be activating or running at its optimal rate that it should. It's like driving a car, come on. You turn the key in the ignition. If it doesn't move, there's something wrong. We don't know what's going on internally with the cells because superficially, all we engage with, or mostly, is this. Yes, I'm not gonna say this is not true, but there are other things that hinder us want to help because what do you tell a person that is very, very ill traumatic chronic condition lose weight that wouldn't be the best advice if you're ready stress participates in every body's health if you're fat you're skinny you're medium you're, you're whatever that you are it just elevates and it hinders one's well-being if you haven't got the message yet let, let me say it very clearly I'm depicting a variety of things but most often, what I hear, the individuals are basically very, very engaged with. It's this. And it's true. But I like to suggest, too, stress 
is equal or even just as much as a problem or as a diminishing factor for one's health condition, even if you're in a, uh, whatever condition that you're in, even if you're healthy, if you're feeling stressed, you're not going to feel it. Your cells receive this message, your new transmitter receives this message, and it affects one's thinking, one's walking, one's, it, it just does, does a lot of everybody. Come back here at your health plan, just get out of your box. Out of the box, out of the realm of what everybody else says. Communication about one's health. Come back, subscribe today, and thank you for watching. At your health light. Come back to nature with Mother Nature's Health Light with Dr. William Singh.